It was an honor to fight beside your uncle. And now an even greater one to see you as my successor. You fought beside my uncle? Are... Are you... felt like she was dreaming. Before her was the great Sprite Champion. Her uncle spoke of his legend often. Wait! Don't go! Quill shouted into the ether. It's time for you to show us the way. The voice folded back into the leaves. Now hurry! August needs you! He was gone. Quill was deeply honored. She'd earned the blessing of her hero. And perhaps also the Toad's respect. I'm... sorry I considered you for supper, he offered. You best be on your way. Ada won't be pleased about any of this. If Ada knew I led you here, She'd burn my roots from existence. A voice rose from the soil, gently shaking the branches. But I need to know you can handle the perils of the castle. Quill wondered what would happen if she crossed Veda's path, and would she ever see the Sprite Champion again? All clear, kid, Adurin affirmed. It should be a straight shot to the castle now. Come on! Trapped! 
Quill. Can you open these doors too? Oh no, these? These are powerful arcane hexes. I can try.
kid? Shouted to Durin. We... we have to get out of here! made a terrible mistake. What is this place? What's that smell? Durin? I'm so sorry, Quill. I really am. All remains still, save for a blazing shadow poised to strike. Quill's insights felt like quicksand sinking in terror at the sight. The shape lunged. Metal crashed, and a Durin's light went out. Quill's beating heart drew Sarfog's attention. It was a monster of such harrowing enormity that survival seemed impossible. But then, the reader illuminated a break in the stone. Quill dove, the opening just big enough, and narrowly escaped the snap of Sarfog's fiery jaw. Glass. Instinct fuel Quill's desperate flee. The littered limbs of those before her served as haunting reminders that this was where so many before her met their end. Her adrenaline waned, trembling and anchored by a heavy heart. She slowed, stumbled, and crumpled to the cold ground. Quill had never felt more small and helpless. It would take an army to defeat Sarfog. Then she felt a gentle touch of warmth and mustered the strength to look up. The reader was still there. Expressionless as always, but unwavering in their loyalty. Quill felt the depth of their connection. The strength that came with being twofold. They'd come so far. Together. My friend, I need your help. If we don't face our fog now, my uncle will die. And that monster won't stop until you and I are torn apart. Will you stay with me and try 